because I think a lot of people had been on the sidelines with Uber because they were unprofitable for so long. And it's interesting because this also comes right after a time when Meta announced their first dividend. And so you're seeing a lot of these, co these growth companies are having to show other ways to um, give back to shareholders, whether it's going to be with buybacks, with dividends, um, because the question is how long can those con companies continue to grow at these valuations. So I think it's actually a really strong move that you're seeing from Uber.